Hello and welcome to the Prepare to Prosper podcast, episode 15, where we prepare today to prosper tomorrow. And uh, sorry if the mic picks up a lot of wind noise, It's and highway noise is just windy, and apparently a lot of people are using the highway today. That's just how life is. But let's get on with the episode. Today we're going to discuss uh, kit mentality, making kits. Uh, it makes, simplify life. So the first thing it does is it puts everything that we have all in one place where we can get to it easily and quickly if we need it and um, it makes life easier that way and I'm not just talking about your bug out bags and stuff like that uh, make kits for your plumbing stuff make kits for your electrical make kits like uh, keeping the tripod from falling up is my general t- tool bag it gets most of the job done and then I have uh, another tool bag I use for mechanics. <coughs> Sorry about that. Mechanical stuff working on the car. That way I don't have, I have what I need when I need it for doing most jobs. Uh, the reason I got this out is I'm working on the new quail tractor. Hopefully I'll have it done. I should have done it last fall. That's when I started it. Hopefully I'll get it done today. Yeah, today. It needs to be done today. Anyway. You already have most of what you need to put together most of your emergency kits. You got it laying around your house, you just need to gather it up and put it all together. Um, so the first thing kit you need to work on is your everyday carry. Uh, that's basically the way it sounds, it's everyday carry. What you have on you every day, uh, in your pockets. Now uh, you can go back to the past few videos I've been doing on your seven needs all your kits should do what they can to meet those seven needs now obviously in your pockets every day you're not going to carry your shelter and heat and the uh, generator on your back but you can carry what you need every day and then have cell phone chargers everywhere you go so when you're in your car or any other place you can just top off your cell phone a good example of that is my mother-in-law her car died the other day and luckily, her, my uh, sister-in-law, her daughter, was with her because she doesn't plug her phone in except for at night. She doesn't plug it in during the day. And she doesn't even have a charger in her car to plug it in. Her phone died. So if her sister wouldn't have been there when her car died, wouldn't start, she would have been stranded and had some issues. So even though you can't carry power with you, you keep your phone plugged in and charged as much as you can. Uh, and that brings us to the next kit, an everyday carry bag. This is a backpack. I don't think you should carry it everywhere you go, like when you walk into the mall or walk into a restaurant. First off, well, some people can't get away with it. My wife gets away with it because it's basically her purse. Well, it is her purse. It's just a purse with extra stuff in it. Um, so, but for a guy, it's not really socially acceptable. If you want to do it, go ahead. But. For me, for my everyday carry bag, I throw it in the car. Uh, I might take it into work with me, depending on what I'm doing at work. But basically, I have all the stuff available to me, including an extra cell phone charger, some trash bags for shelter. So basically, it expands upon what I carry with me to meet those seven needs. Uh, It carries more first aid than I can carry with me. I also carry some water purification stuff and those kind of things that it doesn't make sense to have on me all the time. And I also consider my Life Straw water bottle part of my everyday carry. Uh, even though I don't have it attached to my person, I just I have it with me everywhere I go pretty much. Uh, again, if I'm going walking into a Walmart or a restaurant, it stays in the car. But other than that, it goes with me all the time. So then another kit, and so if you're trying, this next kit will really help you get your uh, family on board if you're struggling with that, and it's a blackout kit. Uh, We discussed the blackout kit back in the episode on uh, power, but basically throw some cell phone chargers, uh, some like power brick style, or power brick style charger or two, um, some battery powered lanterns, some flashlights, those kind of things in a small box. You probably have all those things laying around the house. Throw them in a box and then if the power goes out, you can everybody has their own flashlight, set some lanterns on the dining room table, 
uh, play a board game. If you need to cook dinner, you can set one of the lanterns uh, over by the stove, cook dinner. And now you go for, and this is, not only is it a huge safety thing if you try to cook, because it's hard to cook in the dark, but also it uh, takes your family from going, this guy, I don't know, dad's gone off the deep end with all this preparedness stuff, to wow, that preparedness stuff dad had really, uh, really helped out. Uh, he could have he had the generator and gasoline and the generator or all the extension cords ready to go when the power went out he's like hey we don't need to run the refrigerator yet but uh, we can run the TV and the whole family can sit down and watch a movie that's awesome and then you just unplug it plug the tea our refrigerator back in if it needs it and now the refrigerator can run if you buy a big enough generator you can run your air conditioner or your furnace that's a big plus all right the next thing is a car kit now it's not every tool to work on your cars but maybe it's like a, a set of sockets I use a quarter inch drive set of sockets and just a set of cheap Harbor Freight wrenches and some pliers and a few other things some zip ties and uh, stand by my notes just fell over see I told you it was windy out but I used to complain about the weather, but I don't anymore. I figured uh, God designs the weather. He picks what the weather's going to be, and he knows better than I do. So whatever the weather is, I just roll with it. No point in complaining. Even if you did complain, nobody's going to care. But uh, everybody complains about the weather all the time, but God's in charge. Just let him be in charge. Worry about things that you have control over in your life. Anyway, car kit. Uh, also in the winter have some blankets, but uh, having your car kit food, um, water, stuff like that, uh, maybe some straps, flashlight, and all kinds of stuff like that. My notes just fell over, but this time they landed where I could read them. So a little antidote, my brother-in-law, my uh, late wife, my first late wife, before she passed away, her brother, she, uh, or he made fun of me for having that kind of stuff in the car and he's all like oh if you just buy new cars with a warranty you don't have to worry about them breaking down well I would tell him like well a deer and a deer and drunk drivers don't care if your car's under warranty well he was driving into town in the winter deer hit his car wiped out his radiator couldn't drive it he's got his wife and his kid in the car with him of course they left they keep the car in the garage at home, so they left home to go into town to uh, eat. None of them have a coat with them. It's freeze. It's like around zero out. So they're like, "What are we gonna do?" So they called April, my late wife. She showed up, and uh, she had blankets. She had water. Uh, my niece. She was hungry, so she gave me some peanut butter crackers. But. Uh, I'm the idiot for having the, the stuff in my car. And some this goes to the, I was talking about earlier, uh, showing that your preparedness pays off. And in this case, showing it to him that it pays off. Uh, he didn't care, he wasn't very appreciative. That's part of the reason why I don't like spending a lot of time with the dude. Anyway, I now fell over to where I can't read it. So that's the basics of car kit. Like I, I think I mentioned earlier, so many interruptions with the wind and stuff, but uh, Build on these kits over time. So put in what you have now, make a list of what you need, and then start adding to them. And uh, personalize these kits for you and your situations and your the emergencies in your life you might face. Uh, if you live in Florida, uh, you don't need to put a snowsuit in your car in the winter. Maybe you do, I don't know. I've never lived in Florida, but I'm just guessing. Uh, I don't think Arizona you need to pack a raincoat. Maybe you do. I don't know how much it rains in Arizona, actually. But it does seem kind of like a desert. Anyway, next one. The most popular one. Everybody talks about it. It's the coolest. It's your bug out bag. So, your bug out bag should be able to take care of... Actually, I skipped one. Before we do bug out bag, let's back up. Talk about a smaller kit. It's your hospital kit is what I call it. It's the kit, like... I have to take Sarah to the hospital. So we grab me and her hospital kits. We grab the the kids' kits. 
we uh, dropped the kids off at her sister's house, grandma's house, something like that. Drop the kids off with their kits, and we go to the hospital with our kits. Now, in those kits are some bottled water, some snacks, change of clothes, and a way to charge our phone. That won't get you by through most emergencies, but that means the kids have what they need to spend the night at grandma's. We have the what well, we need to spend the night at the hospital, make sure she's okay, and we have a way to charge our cell phones so we can communicate with each other. Yeah, a handful of peanut butter crackers isn't the best uh, meal in the world, but it's better than being hungry. And you can go, oh, if you skip a meal or two and deal with that, you can, it's no big deal. Oh, also I should back up for everyday carry. And for everyday carry, uh, slip a $20 bill inside your phone. You probably will not lose, leave the house without your phone and without your wallet at the same time. So if you need gas or something, you got an extra 20 bucks. Same thing with your emergency kit. Throw a couple 20s in there, a 20 in each one. Uh, I prefer not to use a whole 20. Uh, I prefer to use fives. That way if you gotta buy some food out of the vending machine in the hospital, you got fives to do that with. But $20 worth of fives. All right, bug out bag. Like I said, that's the big fancy one that everybody talks about all over the internet and all over YouTubes and all that kind of stuff. Plenty of videos, but basically your bug out bag should be able to live out of it for three days. Food, water, you know, you can't not gonna carry three days of water with you. So the ability to gather more water and then uh, the ability to shelter, keep dry, change your clothes, that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna go into full detail for all this because like I said, everybody's different. Uh, I will be making a video about my bug out bag. Uh, I should do that here in the next uh, couple weeks. I, like I said, I gotta get that quail, new quail tractor done and uh, get the garden put in. So those take priorities because it's spring. Gotta get the spring stuff done, but I will be making that bug out bag soon. So uh, look out for that video. So homework for this week is for all of us to start putting these different kits together and see what we need. So that's our everyday carry kit and everyday carry bag. Like I said, you don't have to carry it in the mall with you or Walmart or when you go out to dinner with your wife on a date, don't don't drag this back. Especially if it's a first date with a girl, you don't want to come off as crazy. Unless you do want to come off as crazy, I don't know, each his own. Anyway, everyday carry, everyday carry bag, a blackout kit, car kit, a hospital kit, um, your bug out bag, and putting all that stuff together and starting to assemble it all in one place. That's our homework for this week. And uh, oh, one other tip is we keep all of our camping gear and our bug out bags and that kind of stuff in a storage unit. Uh, we also use that storage unit for selling crap we don't want anymore on Amazon or on Facebook Marketplace. And we will eventually be store buying stuff just to sell on Facebook Marketplace and keep in there. But we keep that on there. And most almost every disaster, we have to drive past that storage unit to get out of town. So we can just grab all the camping gear and all the bug out bags. It stays packed, stays out of the way. And then if a tornado hits our house or there's a fire or anything like that, we still got our crap. So do your homework this week. Me and Sarah are gonna work on our homework. And uh, remember, we prepare today to prosper tomorrow.